it strikes me that partnerships, NATO partnerships, may be one of the least well-known, least appreciated dimensions of the alliance. And I want to sort of unpack that for you, give you a little context, and then I too am anxious to hear my, uh, my fellow ambassador's comments. Um, 2014 is an important year, as Giles, Giles mentioned, it's not only the 65th anniversary uh, of the alliance, uh, I would argue the most successful, certainly the most durable alliance in history, uh, but it's also a strategic inflection point for NATO. It's not just 65 years. It's a point where we're going to need to transition to a new operational setting, a new set of realities, and we're going to have to adapt. Now, let me explain. Uh, I think since its inception in 1949, that NATO has been through at least three distinct phases. So three phases of NATO history. The first 40 years is probably the most well-remembered. This is uh, the 40 years from 1949 to 1989. Alliance was obviously focused on collective defense and deterrence. Uh, and here in Central Europe, we had the central front of the Cold War. Um, with the fall of the wall in 1989, I'd argue that NATO went through about a five-year phase of quick transition from what it had been doing for 40 years uh, to a, a period that saw the end of the Soviet Union, uh, a transition of the lines as it adapted to new realities. Its, its raison d'etre had been removed with the fall of the Soviet Union. And it began to face the realities of instabilities on the periphery, uh, outside Central Europe. And then I would argue in 1994, so 20 years ago, NATO entered its most recent phase. And this is a phase that I call the operational phase, where NATO began 20 years of nonstop operations uh, on the periphery. And for those past 20 years, the alliance has been essentially in nonstop continuous operations. It started first with uh, Bosnia, so into the Balkans, uh, then later in the Balkans in Kosovo, uh, 2001, uh, the first invocation ever of Article 5, the, the mutual defense uh, provision in the, in the Washington Treaty after the 9-11 attacks. Uh, meanwhile, several, several smaller, less conspicuous maritime operations off the Horn of Africa in the Mediterranean, and of course in 2011 the air campaign in Libya. So, if you add those up, you've got two decades of operational experience.